Howdy folks, welcome to another DIY video here at the Weekend Angler. One of the first things I noticed when I picked up this boat was that the trailer winch no longer locks. It would be useful for dragging the boat in, but the ratcheting effect is gone. So, before I take this out on the water, I'm going to replace the trailer winch. I'm going to show you how to do that in case you're wondering how to do it. Give me just a moment. things I noticed on this particular trailer winch is it's the kind with the steel cable. I don't really care for those. I prefer the nylon webbing strap and so when I picked up the replacement trailer winch today I picked up a 1500 pound capacity Toe Smart brand trailer winch. I've used this particular winch on a couple of my other boat trailers. It's worked out really good. I like the performance and it does hold up to the weather. I've had one in service now for about five years Every year I go out in the springtime and give it a good shot of WD-40 and I've yet to have any rust or corrosion on it. Winch still functions like it intends. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the old winch off, get the new winch put on, show you how to do that, and we'll be done with this particular part of getting this trailer and boat ready for the water. So give me just a moment, we'll get the cameras moved, show you how we do this. Guys, first thing you need to do to get this winch off is go ahead and get your wrench up there on the top end. You're going to put your socket on the bottom. This one's in pretty good condition. So the bolts are coming, done fairly, coming undone fairly easily. If yours show sign of rust or corrosion, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to hit those with some penetrating oil for a couple days before trying to remove them. In this case, these bolts are halfway decent. There is some surface rust, but overall the bolts are still in good condition. Usually these winches will be mounted by two or three bolts. This one, particular winch, is mounted by two. So we'll get that one undone, get this old winch off, and we'll proceed to getting the new one put on. Alright, now that both bolts are out, simply lift the winch off the platform. Get your remaining bolt out of the inside of the winch. You can set your old winch aside. You won't be needing that anymore. Well folks, now that the old winch has been removed, it's time to get the new one prepped and ready to put on. When you first open this box, you're going to find your trailer winch strap. That's a 2 inch by 20 foot nylon webbing with a locking strap. Your winch handle, the winch body, and your instruction sheet. The first step is to go ahead and get the handle installed to the winch body itself. Now, to remove this nut, if you do have a Toe Smart brand winch, it requires a three-quarter inch socket. Behind that nut is your support bracket. That goes on the shaft. Your winch handle goes on the shaft and it should rest between the support bracket. Then get your nut threaded on. and get that tightened down. I get this tightened down. It says to uh, tighten down to a torque of 25 foot pounds. Basically, don't over torque this thing. You can screw the handle up. Get it good and snug. That's all you really need to do. Guys, now that the handle's been installed, the best thing to do right at this point is to go ahead and get this winch mounted to the back to the boat trailer. And then we're just gonna get the strap put on. The instructions tell you to put the strap on first. If you do that and get that all wound in, you're going to have some clearance issues getting to your bolts. 
All right, guys, installation of the new winch is exactly the opposite of the removal of the old one. Get your winch plate put down. Then you replace your flat washer, your split lock washer, and your nut. Tighten those down hand tight for now. Make sure your winch is lined up. Get your ratchet and your wrench centered down. Well guys, once you have the new winch installed to the boat trailer, it's time to get the strap installed to the winch. In this particular case, you're going to have to remove a cross bolt and uh, on this Toe Smart brand winch, that bolt is metric. The bolt itself takes a 14 millimeter wrench. The nut on the other side takes a 13 millimeter socket. Right. As you can see, we've got that removed. Just nothing but a stainless bolt, nylon lock nut. Guys, once that cross bolt's been removed, undo your winch strap, get it all laid out nice and straight, get any kinks and coils out of it. You're going to look for this looped end, this looped end right here. You're going to bring that up underneath your bow eye. And you're going to reinstall that bolt, putting it through the loop and the looped end of the strap. Get your nut started by hand. Guys, the instructions call to tighten this cross bolt to 10 foot pounds. Guys, that is not much at all. That is barely beyond hand tight. So put your wrench on the one side, put your ratchet on, you're going to snug that up just to the point that that begins to touch and go maybe a quarter to a half a turn past that. Well guys, once you have the cross bolt installed, the very last step on this project is to get the strap put onto your winch. Your forward and reverse selector here, push that all the way forward. That allow this winch to pull in whenever the handle is rotated clockwise or towards the boat. Now, what I've found is the easiest way to do this is go about a foot, foot and a half to two foot in front of the bow eye here, hold your strap flat, crank your winch strap in. So guys, it's gonna make a lot of noise. We'll fast forward through this part and show you the finished project. Well guys, once you have the winch strap fully installed onto the winch, go ahead and hook the hook to your bow eye, reinstall your safety chain, and then turn the handle of the winch to snug it up You'll be able to see the strap tighten up. When you initially install this thing, it'll kind of have an oblong shape due to that cross bolt. Once you tighten this up and kind of put a little bit of stretch on that strap, it will form more of a circle. Don't over tighten this. Over time, you are going to get this tightened up to the extent that it needs to be. But go ahead and get most of the slack taken out of this. So guys, I'll get that finished up. And uh, once that's done, we'll be good. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you saw just how easy it is to install a winch onto your trailer. Just takes a few tools, about five, 10 minutes of time, and you've got the safety and security of having a winch that you can trust 
as you're towing your boat down the road. Guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. I hope I've helped some of you out. Guys, this is not a difficult project. It's a rather easy project. It's some that some people will may feel intimidated by, and I wanted to make sure that they don't. So guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Like, share, subscribe. If you're on a mobile device, hit that little bell down there. That'll give you notifications whenever I post a new video or go live. Thanks for watching as always, and have a great day, and we'll see you on the water.